Fun Textic is a 3D text animation. Therefore, all the animation happens in a 3D environment. By enabling the OSC guides, we can see the three axes that represents the 3D environment. The red axis is the horizontal or X axis. The blue axis going up and down is the vertical axis or Y axis. The green axis going towards the camera and away from the camera is the Z axis or the depth of the 3D environment. The control or manipulation of the 3D environment can be done in a couple of ways. If your timeline marker is positioned at the screen position, like mine is, you can enable the menu option to show the parameters of the screen position. The first two axis parameters will modify the 3D environment while the text is in the screen position. When you modify the horizontal X parameter, the entire 3D environment will move from one side to the other. And if you modify the vertical Y parameter, the environment moves up or down. These two parameters modify the 3D environment only while the animation is happening in the screen position. One other way to modify the 3D environment is by using the advanced FX camera parameters. These parameters will affect the behavior of the 3D environment during the entire length of the animation. The dolly move parameter creates a constant animation of the 3D environment moving towards the camera or away from the camera. A small value creates a subtle move while the larger value animates the environment a greater distance. Keep in mind that the text is not moving. It is the 3D environment that is moving instead. The axis offset is precisely an offset being applied to the 3D environment. This will be a fixed offset that happens through the entire length of the animation. The following three parameters with the word drift in their name imply that there will be an animated move in the rotation of the selected axis and it can be turned into a negative or positive direction. These parameters will rotate the 3D environment with a constant speed throughout the entire animation. If I set the drift rotation to a value of 95, the whole 3D environment will be rotating from beginning to end when I play back the animation. This type of animations will definitely affect the setups you have done to your start, end, and screen positions, and you may need to adjust them to compensate for any offsets. It is strongly recommended that you do your 3D environment moves first and before you set up your start, end, and screen positions, or you can use lower values to avoid upsetting your current setups. If you plan to use only the camera moves in your animation, you may be able to get interesting results that deliver your message effectively. Keep in mind that whenever your 3D environment has been modified, the 3D parameters of the other sections will follow the axis as they are oriented at any given time. Here, I will demonstrate that by moving the timeline marker to the end of the animation. Enable the end parameters in the menu, and then, if I modify the horizontal X parameter of the end section, the text will move along the red axis of the rotated 3D environment. The same thing would happen if I modify the vertical Y axis. My text would move up and down along the blue axis, and the depth Z would move the text along the green axis. In other words, if the environment is rotated, as it is in this example, the behavior of the parameters that control the start and end will follow the orientation of the 3D environment at that particular moment in the animation. Finally, one other way to modify your 3D environment very easy is to try out the several presets available under the CAM presets. Just be aware that some of these presets may have a large value and will definitely disturb the feel of your current animation, so be very cautious when using these presets. One final note is that you should enable the OSC Guides button to see how your 3D environment is being affected when you are loading the presets or using the parameters to modify the 3D environment.